welcome back to my channel. I have got some tea for you. Whoa, is there some tea. You know, the last few weeks, Christine has been, Christine Brown from Sister Wives, has been doing all these lives where she's been raising money because you know she's got that, her daughter, she says, she says that she needs 50 grand for Isabel's procedure. And she is busting her booty to like make this money. And then earlier, like over the weekend, she shared the story about how when Truly was in the hospital, all of like in 2014, she didn't have any insurance for her at all. And so she has this massive bill of $750,000 or $450,000 rather. And she was talking about how, you know, she told Truly that it doesn't matter how much it costs and, you know, she's still worth it. To which a lot of you in the comments were like, that's a really crappy thing to say to a kid, Christine. Why would you tell your kid that they owe money? It's just going to make them feel guilty and it's going to make them feel like they've made the family broke for so many years. Uh, that's a lot to put on a kid. To which I say, touche. But she's throwing shade and I figured it out. She's throwing shade at Robin. There is another post that she put, put up on her social media and it was about jewelry. Now, if you remember, Robin owns My Sister Wives Closet. Now, My Sister Wives Closet's website has not had any new merchandise on it for over a year, but it still remains up, meaning at some point in time, she might reload the inventory and sell her products. But Christine, yesterday or a few days ago on Instagram, shared a post and said, Aspen occasionally sends me gifts from work and I love them so much. Kendra Scott is probably my favorite jewelry company of all time. Thanks, love. And it showed a bracelet, necklace, and earrings all with sort of an amethyst-like stone. Now, obviously with Robin owning my sister wife's closet, which was supposed to be a joint venture, immediately fans were like, that's shade. Girl, that's shade. Because in the comments, they said, even better than my sister wife's closet, how do you even compete with the quality and style? And I'm like, yeah, that's true. So how is it that your favorite jewelry line is not the company in which you guys claim to run my sister wife's closet? Well, it's because Robin runs my sister wife's closet Robin is the legal wife. Robin gets Cody all the time. Robin's kids get health insurance. Robin's kids are on his taxes. Robin's kids in the hierarchy of Cody's life mean more than anyone else's and he spends the most time with. So she's split in shade. Why else would you bring up the amount of money that you spent on insurance or when you didn't have insurance for your kids in 2014 and then constantly talk about how you need this money for this procedure and then accidentally throw shade about the jewelry it's all directed at robin in my opinion she is irritated because cody is not available to her cody is not available to her kids cody is a part-time loser that doesn't insure her kids doesn't pay child support think about that she doesn't have any financial help from him and because they're not technically separated and she's never actually like done the legal paperwork i mean technically speaking she could file court documents forcing him to pay for child support but in these situations they don't because they say that they're married but they're legally not and he could at any time not spend time with whoever wife he wants and Christine has been sort of on this trajectory where people think that she's kind of just done with polygamy. She really likes the independence. I mean, she's the one that shot down the one house idea. She did not want to be around her other wives. She was adamant against not seeing Cody with anyone else. Who do you think she doesn't want to see Cody with? Robin. Robin and Cody are literally the only ones that have any semblance of a romantic relationship anymore, in my opinion. I mean, him and Janelle are like best friends. She might have some sort of connection to Cody herself and Mary's out. So I think the only two women that have any sort of connection with Cody is Christine and Robin and Robin being the one that has the youngest children, Robin being the legal wife, Robin whose kids have insurance, Robin whose kids get treated better probably gets everything. And Christine is always like at the, she's in the gutter. 
She's in the gutter. She's never been a legal wife. She has no rights to his estate. She has no rights, period. I mean, he's on her house with her, but she's the one that's theoretically carrying all of this debt. It's not him. It's her. So <laughs> I think there's going to be some tea coming down the line because I really... Robin has disappeared, all but disappeared off social media, and she never participates in social media. But Christine is irritated, and I don't blame her, to be honest. I really don't blame her. Could you imagine being married to a guy that has so many kids, and you are believing that you're doing this and sacrificing your life because you believe the covenant that you are going to go to the celestial kingdom and all of all of you guys will be together and this is all for the betterment of your afterlife only to sacrifice your happiness and joy in this life and sacrifice uh, having a partner that could actually be there for her imagine what Christine could do if she actually had a partner who was supportive and provided for her financially she would not be busting her butt so much now Kendra Scott is clearly a multi-level marketing company other fans in the comments were not as pleased saying that it's crap jewelry made in China and they don't buy it and it's overpriced. And then others were saying how they're going to reach out to Aspen to buy these products from her. So she's promoting another MLM. So it appears as though she has roped her daughters into the MLMs because McKelty is in one too. And Maddie at one point was doing LLR as well. So Christine is She's kind of on her own in a way. All of these women are, to be honest. Mary's yelling at customers and being rude, and Janelle's probably just over there dreaming about taking off in the RV to go live with Maddie and Caleb. And Cody is just like, I don't give a crap. I'm with Robin. He's my favorite. I just want all these women to leave, seriously. And I just want Christine to keep bringing the tea. I want her to keep bringing this tea. I want her to keep dumping. Like, Christine... Don't lose your voice. Keep sharing what a turd bucket he is. Cody's perm needs to be taken down a few notches. Tell us all of the details. Throw that shade, girl. Throw it. All right, you guys. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below.